Hello class, welcome back. Today we're talking about real life percent problems. This is our eighth lesson of unit 12. Let's begin by checking over your homework from last night. Please at this time take out your percent error worksheet. Okay, so let's take a look at number one. Number one, your numerator will always be the absolute value of the difference between the two values. So here you um, have to subtract 75 minus 78, take the absolute value, which will be three. And your denominator is always the number that is either found in the textbook or found on the label. So in this case, he looked at a reference book. And so the um, actual boiling point is 78 degrees. So that's what your denominator is. You divide it, then you multiply it by 100. And so your percent error is 3.85%. Number two, you find the difference. And it's 0 0.08 divided by the known is one gram per milliliter. Then you multiply it by 100 and your percent error is 8%. Number three, your answer is no, Fred's error was 7.79%. And number four, your answer should be 0.23%. Now please turn to your more practice problems. You have 10 problems. I would like for you to complete these 10 problems on your own so you can prepare for your quiz, um, which will take place after you complete these problems. So please at this time, pause the video while you complete these 10 problems. When you're ready, check your answers, press play. Number one, the answer should be 24%. Number two, the answer is 36. Number three, your answer is $16.88. For this, this is they buy it for $7.50, but they want to mark it up, so that's 100% of the price. They want to mark it up 125%. So what you have to do is you have to take what is 125% of 75, $7.50 is $9.38. And so you have to add that, that's 125%. You have to add that to the original price. And so that's how I got $16.88. Number four, it says round to the nearest whole percent. So if you round to the nearest whole percent, your answer should be 24%. Number five, your answer should be 4.06. Number six, your answer should be 90. And number seven, your answer should be 145. The answer to number eight is 300. The answer to number nine is $7.56. And the answer for number 10 is 156. And now it's time for you to take your quiz. I would like for you to go see your SSA teacher or your AIG teacher to receive the paper copy of the quiz, complete the paper copy of the quiz, and if you have time left in your class period, enter your answers online. If you don't have enough time to enter your answers online, you need to hand the paper back to your teacher and enter your problems, your answers tomorrow. Please do not take your quiz home to complete it, even just to, answer the, to enter in your answers. Quizzes are not allowed to go home. So again, please go get the paper copy, complete the paper copy, and then enter your answers online. Good luck. For homework tonight, you need to complete your Unit 12 study guide. You need to complete all 20 questions and be prepared to come to class tomorrow ready to check your answers. Good luck and I hope you have a wonderful day.